Hey there, this is Erica from Highland Hickory Designs and I'm back again today with another easy stitch tutorial. And this one would make a really nice blanket or scarf, baby blanket, something like that. It's really kind of thick. So this would be perfect for something that you want to stay warm. And the holes are kind of minimal, not too many holes in this stitch pattern. It's an easy two row repeat and to make anything that you want, you simply need to start out with a multiple of three. And in today's tutorial, we are using Karen Simply Soft in Dark Sage. It's a size four medium weight yarn and an F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. So if you're interested in the written instructions, they'll be in the description box below along with timestamps and the instructions on how to speed up or slow down my videos if I go too fast or too slow for you. So let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so like I said before, you need a multiple of three chains to get started. And for this demonstration, I'm going to start with a chain of 18. For row one, in the sixth chain from the hook, we're going to work a double crochet, two together, chain one, double crochet, two together, all in the same chain. So for a double crochet, two together, you yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull back through, Yarn over, draw through two loops, and we'll do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, draw through two loops, and then yarn over and draw through three loops. And that is a double crochet two together. And we'll do that again. Chain one, and in the same chain, we're going to work another double crochet two together. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain, Yarn over and pull back through. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over, pull back through. Yarn over, draw through two. And you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through three. So we're making almost like a V stitch. And we'll just call that a V stitch for the remainder of the pattern. Next, we're going to skip two chains and work another V stitch in the next chain. So double crochet two together. Chain one, double crochet two together in the same chain. And we repeat that the whole way down. Skip two stitches V stitch in the next stitch or next chain. Skip two chains, V stitch in the next chain. Chain one, double crochet two together. And when you get to the end of your row, you'll skip two chains and in the last chain, a double crochet. That is row one. For row two, chain one, turn your work and we're going to single crochet the entire way across, starting with this first stitch. Single crochet. Now I'm working into the chain one space for this single crochet. You can work into the stitch, it really doesn't matter, but I think it's easier just to work into the chain one space. Just don't skip over it.
And for your last stitch, work into the top of this turning chain right here. That is row two. Pretty easy so far, right? For row three, chain three, turn your work. Now we're going to be working not into this row, but into the chain one space from the row one, from two rows below. So we're going to work our double crochet two together, chain one, double cro crochet two together in this chain one space. So you'll insert your hook into the chain one space, pull your loops up nice and tall, and then work your double crochet two together chain one and we'll do that again in this chain one space nice and tall double crochet two together and we'll do that the entire way across so in the chain one space of the V Double crochet two together, chain one, double crochet two together, and repeat. One more time. And in your last stitch, you're just going to double crochet. that's row three and that's it for the entire pattern all you have to do is repeat row two and row three a row of single crochets and a row of V's and when you're finished you'll get this beautiful thick fabric it's so nice I actually kind of want to make something with this uh, but this is the front this is the back I think it's beautiful on both sides. Yep, and that is it. Pretty simple. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, comment down below any projects that you would like to make with this stitch pattern so that, that would help others come up with ideas. I really appreciate you watching the whole way to the end, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.